Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to take a look at my new 3D printer. The Labus ET4 3D printer. I've had this for about a week and I've got it working out uh, pretty well. Now Labus sent this out to us free of charge for our consideration. I want you to take a look at it and uh, possibly consider it if you need a new 3D printer. So we'll take a look at it and uh, give you my opinions of it and you can make your own decision on whether or not a printer like this is right for you. Here we're looking at my old 3D printer, the ANET A8, back from a uh, video I did in 2017. And uh, you can see that this one is a whole lot different. This was kind of a a jumble of wires and rods and figure it out yourself uh, you can see most of the parts of the printer were actually 3d printed themselves which in itself is not a bad thing but it's assuming a level of uh, technical expertise that I almost didn't have it's, it's you need to be very mechanical to make something like this work it was difficult but I got it going the new printer is much more easy to use and assemble for just about anyone assembling this printer simply took putting uh, two screws in each of the uprights and then putting the extruder head the thing you see rolling back and forth across the screen uh, on that rail that's all it took and, and putting in the tube for the uh, filament it was super easy it took maybe 10 minutes because I was doing it by myself if I had some help I could have done it a lot quicker another thing is the instructions for this are incredibly easy and well written let's take a look at the instruction manual now the instructions are written in multiple languages as far as English goes they're written in very clear English and since they're they're quite simple to follow I mean it's, it's well done they, they put some time and effort into this and I appreciate seeing that now, um, let's go over and take a look at their website where they talk about the auto leveling because it's not quite up to par. Okay, here's a look at their webpage at labists.com. Then I click here on 3D printer, and this is the ET4 3D printer auto leveling. Not exactly. And the price is $249. You can order it from Amazon. I'll put a link down below. Auto leveling 3D printer, high precision leveling detector with matrix automatic leveling function, frees you from bed leveling trouble. Uh, not in my experience. In my experience, you need to level this bed by yourself. In fact, the only way I was able to get this printer to run was to go to Reddit and find the uh, actually the ANET ET4 thread and read up on what people had to do to make it run. The resume print function can resume printing from the last recorded extruder position after suffering unexpected power failure. That's true. Saturday I was printing something for my son and the power blinked off and the printer restarted from its last spot and you can't even tell anything went wrong. So that is a really nice um, nice feature. Filament detection. P filament broken or runs out, the system automatically pauses printing and prompts for online feeding. Yes, it does. And fast assembly. Yeah, this is fast. I mean, seriously, it's like four four screws you put in, and I'll show you underneath how it, where it goes together. And then you put on the uh, the extruder head, and you're good to go. Uh, widely compatible supports PLA ABS. It's from, well, the only thing I've tested it with is PLA so I can't tell you anything else about that but yeah that's where I'm at with this baby so far so here we're looking at the uh, left side of the printer you can see the uh, power cord standard IEC cord goes in there with a little switch. There's your Z-axis with the stepper motor, filament detector, there's the extruder, 
the extruder motor is down underneath there. The uh, Y axis is underneath the uh, system there. You can see how it works on a nice pulley and belt system. There's our touch screen. And if I flip this up, you can see underneath. And you can see the uh, two screws there and two screws down there. That's it to put this thing together. Two screws. One, two, three, four. Two on each side. It goes together super easy. Let me turn this on. Let me turn out my light here. All right, let's take a look at a couple objects that I printed. This is the first print that I did off of it. This is just a little rocket ship that comes on the SD card. And you can see it's done a very nice job. This is completely hollow. And it printed without support. So it's got maybe a little bit of flex, but not much to it. Now this is the object I printed for my son. This is a character out of some game called the Krogan. And this is the one that actually uh, stopped printing midway through. But you can see that print quality is just superb. Very nice. Now here's one I wanted to show you that comes with the supports. This is the support that you find on the, uh, that attaches it to the bed. This might be kind of hard to do with one hand. If I flip that over, you can see that the, the support just peels off. Then you get these little stringies. They also just, they just come right off. And again, the, the print quality is really nice. I have absolutely no complaints on that whatsoever. Very, very nice indeed. Okay, the last thing I want to take a look at here is this uh, calibration cube. It should be 20 millimeters on a side. So we'll find out how accurate this thing prints out of the box. 19.88 and 19.9 so you can make some adjustments there's a formula you can do that with but for you know I'm not printing anything that exact I find this to be a quite acceptable for me so there you have it the Labus ET4 3d printer I'd give it a thumbs up and if you like this video I hope you'll give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe big thanks to all the patrons and a big thanks to Labus for sending this out to us that's it I'm out peace